What's up, YouTube? I am an 816, bringing you another Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion. Um, I'm doing a little bit more coverage over the uh, Yusei Pack 2 that's coming out. I just also want to mention, uh, real quick before I get into the actual base of Discovery, uh, according to uh, Yugi Wicca, so this is where me and my info are from, um, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode is going to be a super rare in there, and then of course Assault Mode Activate is still going to be common, so, I mean, if people weren't spending the $10 at either Target or Walmart, whatever, to get the Stardust Dragon Assault Mode cards to try to build their own Assault Mode decks, we can see a rise of everyone trying to net deck Assault Mode decks. I personally have two running. I might show them both off at the same time again. Um, really much hasn't changed to start the Assault Mode Tronic deck that I have. Uh, if you guys want to see it, it's right there, but watch at the end of the video. Click it, like right at the end of the video. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll do an update on my regular Stars Assault Mode deck. Yes, I have two different Stars Assault Mode decks because I wanted to make more Tronics more interesting. Anyway, that's further from the point of this video. This video is actually about uh, a couple more cars that I'm going to be featuring in the from uh, you say Pack 2. Um, you first, you're going to see the picture. All right, now that you saw the picture, it is a the first level three spellcaster. That's a tuner. It is a uh, called eccentric boy. It is a spellcaster tuner. Uh, I am not on a computer, as you can tell. So if you just remember the attribute, uh, that's one matter note for it to write. But um, it's a level three, 800 attack, 200 defense. Of course, you already seen through the car, and it has a really interesting effect that it makes it one strange level three spellcaster tuner. It is, um, if this card is used as a synchro summon material monster, the other must be from the hand. The other monster. So, it's a level 3, so if you just regular summon him, and say you want to get out Black Rose Dragon, the nuke fulfilled, or if you want to get out x Saber Elabellum, Power Tool Dragon, Ancient Fairy Dragon, I have no clue why you want it. Both those hell depend on the deck you're running, but, uh, or any other good level 7, or even level 3, you can get out Goya with this. You can synchro summon out for that with just a centric ball in the field and the other card from your hand to get a whatever synchro monster. Here is the downside to that. The downside is the effect it has no effect. The effect is negated. And uh, when the synchro monster is removed from the field, it is removed from play. So yes, you can bust out your synchro monster easily and quick, but you pretty much lose effect and lose the monster. Really I can see this going with um uh, some non-regular, like maybe Gaia. Really, I think that's the only one without a really an effect. Or just, you know, quick synchro just to get a quick monster out, something like that. Um, yeah. Um, so tell me what you guys think on that. I honestly, uh, I think you can see some kind of gameplay. It just depends on if you figure out really how to use them right and how to win games with them, maybe. But hey, it's another spellcaster, so I mean, finally, finally a level 3 spellcaster. So, yeah. Uh, the next card is a trap card we're going to be covering. And, um, well, show you the picture first. Alright, now that you saw the picture, it is called Tuner's Burial. Um, it effect reads, activated by setting one, activate by selecting one face-up tuner, um, that you control face-up on the field, and until the end phase of your next turn that the card is activated, it cannot be destroyed by a battle or by card effects. Now, this can go for um, annoying your opponent uh, to also making big key plays. Because if you have a monster that cannot be destroyed by battle, and that, you know, you can set your synchro monster out there a couple more turns. So, I mean, it's an easy way to protect your Gale, to protect your Plague if you just need to get it out there. And it could set up key plays if you use it right. Now, remember that the packs come out January 26th. I don't know the official release date for anywhere, such as in Walmart, Target, or wherever you buy your packs at. Uh, me, personally, I get it from Walmart or any stores or something like that. Um, but yeah, I honestly think that this trap card's pretty good, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. I'm pretty sure that... Well, I don't think this card's released yet. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, so pretty much with all my discussions, I discovered all the basic new cards, I think, that are going to be coming out in the set. Um, as always, there's going to be, a uh, repeat cards. 
of either the same rarity or a different rarity, such as the Sars Assault Mode uh, Dragon. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, that's going to be super rare, so yeah, there's that. Um, I think Road Synchron and Road Warrior is going to be in there. Probably just like Letter Rares or something. Um, so yeah, guys, this is it for this video here. Um, tell me what you guys think about the two new cards. Remember, comes out uh, January 26th. And uh, I think that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, the more you guys view these, the more I probably might do card coverage. Uh, just to show you guys the cool cards that are going to be coming out in future sets. Um, please, guys, give me feedback. I uh, appreciate it. Um, yeah, this is it for now. Uh, later, YouTube. Peace.